Yeah. Yeah. This is Gemini Launch Control. Now T minus two minutes and 30 seconds and counting. We have word here in the control center that the spacecraft computer has accepted the update information from the Mod 3 system. Uh, of course, information has also gone by hardline to the Gemini launch vehicle. Now, T minus two minutes and 15 seconds and counting. The Air Force Eastern, Eastern Test Range has given the blockhouse an okay to launch at this point. Coming up at T minus two minutes and counting. This is Gemini Launch Control, T minus one minute and 40 seconds and counting. We have a report that there was a switchover in Houston, but now we have confirmation that the update data is in the computer. We, the computer has accepted this update data, T minus one minute and 30 seconds and counting. You're wrong, Jack. T minus one minute and 20 seconds and counting. All appears to be proceeding well at this point in the countdown during the final phases. The astronauts have been alerted, and we have gimbaled those engines as planned. The engines have swung the first stage engines, and our checkout still continues at this point. Coming up on one minute, T minus 60 seconds and counting. T minus 60. T minus 50 seconds and counting. We will get ignition at zero in the countdown. Some three seconds thereafter, liftoff will come. During that period, there will be a period of about 1.8 seconds where we possibly will have the capability of shutting down if necessary. T-minus 35 seconds and counting. T-minus 30. T-minus 25 seconds and counting. We're on an automatic sequence. Everything appears to be going well during this final phase. T-minus 20 seconds and counting. T-minus 15. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 7 6, 6, 5, 5 4, 4, 3, 3 2, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. We have ignition. Lift off. We have a lift off. It looked like 39 minutes, 32 seconds after the hour. Seconds. The roll program has started. The roll program is completed. The pitch program has started. We have a liftoff time confirmed at 3933 after the hour. Flight is at 740 miles per hour. We are now reaching for four nautical miles in altitude. T plus one minute and 20 seconds. Spacecraft is now approximately eight nautical miles in altitude. The track is good. We are about five nautical miles downrange. Uh, we didn't copy that, Tom. We will take the first day of location. Keep the course. Still couldn't copy you, Tom. Sure, we got the first day of location. Keep the course. Five seconds. Oh, okay, I got you now. Twelve nautical miles downrange and approximately six you're at, nautical uh, miles you're in altitude. You're in mode two now. Track still looks very good. Guys, no DCS updates now.
Clear, go for staging, Gemini 9. T plus two minutes, 20 seconds. Flight crew has been notified that they are go for staging. Spacecraft is now about 52 nautical miles, 50 nautical miles. And we had a beautiful fireball stage. Nautical go. miles in altitude, and we have Beco Roger. booster engine cutoff. The thrust looks good. The track looks good. T plus two Guidance minutes, 50 seconds. Roger, guidance. Steering looks real good. Roger. Guidance officer reports that the oh, track looks fantastic. real good to him. Flight dynamics and guidance and surgeon all report they look good. The spacecraft now is approximately 120 nautical miles downrange and approximately 60 nautical miles in altitude. Flight dynamics says we're right down the middle. The vehicle is now about 70 nautical miles in altitude and approximately coming up on 200 nautical miles downrange. The track looks good, excellent. Flight director. Gemini 9, you're go on the ground. Just okay. okay. completed the final okay. status check. We are green and, and go. And that information has been some large, uh, on to Tom out of plane on the Gemini IVAR, 9. which you won't burn. Uh -huh. And you may have a little bit of out of plane uh, steering building up at uh, at the end there. Gemini 9 is now okay. 280 okay. nautical miles down. Okay. Right. Okay. 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 plus five minutes. Track looks excellent. Gemini 9 is following our plot boards here perfectly. Point eight. We have reached 80% of the velocity needed for orbit. Flight Dynamics says the trajectory looks very good to him. T plus five minutes and 30 seconds. Seco, the second stage engine has cut off. Flight Dynamics has given a go for Ivar and that is being passed on to Tom Stafford by communicator Neil Armstrong. Go for Ivard. Stafford will burn his thrusters to correct any small in-plane and velocity discrepancies.